Hello and welcome back. Today I'm making an iPad breakout cable. You can use this cable to plug in a guitar while also listening through your headphones. Or you can plug in a mic preamp to use your favorite mic. In fact, I recorded this narration with the cable as shown here. Here's our wiring diagram showing how each cable will connect to each other. I'm using recycled cutoff cable ends here. I've also stripped the ends of all the wires as shown. The black shrink wrap is optional here, but I like to have a bit of strain relief. I must say, handling and soldering these very small wires is really challenging, so don't make yourself crazy trying to get them looking perfect. So, if you're in need of an iPad breakout cable, does it make sense to build one or buy one? For most of us, because these cables are inexpensive, it makes more sense to buy one or by a dedicated input device. However, if you're in a pinch and you have the extra connectors and the extra patience, you can make one that'll work pretty well. A quick note though, it does work pretty well as a guitar DI. However, your volume pot might be scratchy unless you use a pedal or some other sort of buffer. That's because there are one and a half volts on the input cable, which would normally power the headset condenser mic. After testing that the cable works, I'm adding a cardboard tube I'll fill this tube with hot glue from both ends to lock the joint in place. One last piece of shrink tubing and the cable is complete.
enjoy your new iPad breakout cable, and let us know how you do making your own in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.